Massive game, match 51, Rajasthan against Mumbai. We're going to focus on a player who opens for the Rajasthan Royals, who has his connections, of course, with Mumbai. Ashwaswi Jaiswal comes at the back of an inspiring and quite exciting 20-ball 50 against the Super Kings. On Marathi City presents ESPN Rigan for T20 timeout. Carlos Brathwaite and Akash Chopra on what seems to have worked for uh, Jaiswal. Akash, this guy looked a little undercooked just a year back in the UAE and seems like a different player right now. What have you noticed? Uh uh, well, he was he was he always had the skills to be honest because uh, uh, you don't score a century in a World Cup game. He was the highest run scorer for India at the under nineteen level. Uh, he also scored a double century in a fifty over game for Mumbai in the Vijay Hazare Trophy. Uh, I think uh, uh, Rajasthan, as they tend to do very often, they lost faith in him too quickly last season. It was his first big stage and uh, and everybody doesn't hit the ground running. I thought uh, they could have been a bit more patient. Uh, this year, they have been and uh, he's looking uh, a very different player, looking apart when it uh, comes to uh, this format, this standard of cricket and the way he actually went after Josh Hazelwood. Uh, it just tells you that this uh, kid is special and it uh, uh, he deserves uh, a lot of investment with regards to uh, how long you persist with him. And uh, he is actually the real deal. Uh, he'll get uh, matured as, as he plays more. Yeah, as as Akash points out, Carlos, he goes after the big boys as well, not just the Indian domestic bowler. Seems to have the shot, seems to have the game, and no mean feat to outstrike Evan Lewis as he did in the last game. Yeah, that was surprising for me. And the way he outgunned him um, with poise and with composure, not too many funky shots, just proper cricketing shots. Um, it was a pleasure to watch. But if you look at his first couple of games in India, um, versus this UAE leg, one thing that jumps out at me is the strike rate. So it means there's a little bit more intent um, he's scoring a little quicker, and as a result, he's batting good fielders out of position. Um, and it, it it's a surprising, or not surprising, sorry, that Akash mentioned um, not having faith in him. Because if there's one thing you could um, be a little hard on Rajasthan is not giving players enough faith. I know the um, Ryan Parag thing would come up, but for Jaiswal, it just looked as though um, he needed to feel as though he belonged at this level. Um, and since he's come back for the second stint in the UAE, you look at his strike rate, you look at his numbers, and somewhere along the line, between that break, between legs, it seems as though he's realised um, that he does belong, he's good enough, um, and he starts to prove it. I think his hardest challenge would be coming back again next year, regardless of if Rajasthan qualify or not. Coming back next year, probably an even bigger price tag, more expectation. How would he handle the expectation? Because he's a damn good talent um, and he's showing it. Mm. All right, let's see if we can carry that form from Abu Dhabi to Sharjah. Probably more challenging than what we've seen this season. But thank you very much, Akash Chopra and Carlos Brathwaite. That's what's worked for Yashasvi Jaiswal. He's come of age and let's see if he can put in an innings in an important game against Mumbai. This was Marathi Suzuki Presents, ESPN Cricket and Footy 20 Timeout. <laughs>